Hello, hello, beautiful people. I hope you are doing absolutely wonderful in this uh, interesting times that we are living. Uh, if you are listening to this recording, that means you're home, you're safe, uh, you have food, uh, you have water, you have all that you need to ride this wave of uh, of the coronavirus that we are experiencing in our lives. So we either gonna plug in into the overall fear that this virus is causing around the world or rise above it, meaning our energy needs to go above the energy of the virus. And then from that point, then attack the virus with light. Uh, Imagine that this virus is like a, like an octopus and it's a huge spider web that has many, many tentacles and is alive. So what if we all come together as brothers and sisters in this world and we generate in our hearts tremendous amount of love, kindness, compassion, tolerance and awaken within ourselves the full healing potential and then from that space connect with whatever is sacred for you the buddhas the medicine buddha uh, any healer that you have known uh, any source of light and inspiration and allow that energy to come into your heart and make it as big as you can make it make this love as you can as big as you can make it and once that is once your body is fully saturated of this energy, then we want to look at this octopus, this virus, and transform it, mutate it into something different. So imagine that you can take the energy that is within yourself and inject it into the body of this live virus, and then bring into it the light and the love that we can generate within our hearts, that healing potential you know, I say that love is the strongest medicine. So if you're capable of creating that amount of inner light and share it freely, what is going to happen is going to impact everyone in this world. The first thing that I said is that if you're listening to this message, you're comfortably at home. But what also means is that we are not possibly connected to the extraordinary circumstances that other people around the world that are incapable of listening to this message because they don't have technology. They are in refugee camps, hundreds of thousands of people. In India, there's millions of people that don't have the ability to isolate themselves like we do ourselves with our loved ones. So what is going to happen in this world is that this virus is truly taking over and is coming to create a change like we have never seen before. So we have to elevate, we have to go as high in our consciousness as we can in order to rise above this virus. And as the virus mutates, so the virus mutates with the light and the love that we infuse on it from our hearts. And what that is gonna do is gonna give us the opportunity to mutate ourselves as well. We become more light, more luminous. And it's from that space of light and luminosity that the full healing potential that is within every one of us is gonna be awakened. And that healing potential is capable of impacting the electromagnetic fields of the world. It's like a grid that is all over the world. Imagine a guitar that you can pluck and the whole series of strings are gonna resonate all together. This is what we can do in order to impact in a positive way the life of everyone that is in this planet. And let us pray, meditate, chant once a week for all the people on this beautiful planet. I invite you to join me once a week until we are on the other side. Please stay strong and healthy. Namaste.